all right so most of us have tried bailing poplars at one time or another and it proved to be very very time consuming what if i told you there's an easier way if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications how's it going everybody driver 53 here and today i'm going to show you an easier way to be able to bail up your poplars and that's by using this modified version of the base game equipment right here now this is the bio baler pro this is by gaming joy it just was released here in October of 2024. And I know what you're thinking, driver, this is just a regular base game piece of equipment with a few color options. Oh, no, 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 we got options. To find this new baler, you need to come down to your tools in your store and then go over to balers and then all the way across to where your balers are at. So whenever we get over here, you can actually see that we have a couple different ones. You've got the Bio Baler WB55 Pro or the cotton version as well. It's gonna be a different video. This one right here is the one that you need. As you can see down at the bottom, it goes 11 miles an hour, which is almost twice as fast as the base game piece of equipment. And it's only $1 more expensive for base game, $99,601. Now there's really nothing that you need to do specifically here other than choose whichever color you want. I went ahead and picked a nice case red and a white, but you could do anything you like. The wheel setup, I mean, that's really the only thing that you could modify here. Everything else is done through your menu once you get your equipment. Now, to get the true benefit out of this baler, you need to go ahead and go into your game settings and then turn off your crop destruction. Now that you got your baler hooked up here, what you need to do is go ahead and uh, swing it one way or the other. So you got to go ahead and hold your R1 and then you go up or down, and that's going to go ahead and swing this thing. But for this trick right here, you don't actually need to do it. Go ahead and leave it right here in the center. Go ahead and make sure it's lined up really good. And then you're going to go ahead and just pull right into the middle of your field. Now, that's the important part here about why you need to go ahead and have your crop destruction turned off. Because if you didn't, then you were going to destroy all of this crop. Now, another thing you need to do if you want some really big bales is you need to change your bale size. So up there in the top left, you can see that I've got my R3 button. I'm going to change from 125 to 150 and now from 150 to 180. You want to leave it right there that's going to be able to make the biggest bales that you can and it's going to save you a lot of transportation time as well because you're going to be able to use base game bale collectors with this so you might as well have them as big as possible now all you gotta do is go ahead and lower it down and go ahead and turn it on and as you can see as you start going forward it's going to go ahead and start making bales for you that's kind of narrow i told you guys there was going to be a quick easy way to be able to do this that's right hold your r1 Press down on your L3. It's going to give you a little bit different of a width that is going to be able to pick up. Now, that's still not quite where we want to be at. You can see now we're going to extended pickup. It's going to be just a little bit bigger still. And then the last one, virtual wind rower. Guys, check out how big this is. Now, these are going to be some enormous bales. Now, you are going to have to stop between each one coming out. But as long as you turn on your automatic drop, you're going to be good. So you hold your L1, press up on your D-pad. It's going to automatically put that bale on the ground for you. It's going to close back up. And then as you start moving forward, you're going to be able to go ahead and get the next bale going. So a little bit of advice. Once you get to the end here, go ahead and back up. Give yourself a little bit of that room. And then go ahead and pull back forward. It's going to go and do its thing. And then you're going to be able to take off and go again. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a process to be able to do this, but I don't think it's going to take you very long at all to be able to make a ton of money here with all of these poplars. Now, unfortunately, also, you are not going to be able to hire a worker while you're doing this. So this is going to be you 100% on your own. Now, if you're not really big on making bales, then I do have another mod for you, but that's going to be in another video. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.